Hey, After Buzzers, we met some Broadway babes. We had our first gluten free bride, and we were introduced to the Fun Bus. We're so excited to talk about it right now. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Oh, it's like calm. <laughs> I was like ready to jam. I don't even have words. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like a squid or like an octopus. We always have the same something. dance moves every single time, but they're probably like, oh. Perfect for tonight's <laughs> episode. Broadway meets Broadway, episode four of Bachelorette Weekend. We are so excited to talk about it with you guys. Again, I am your host, Sarah Serio, and to my left, we have the beautiful. Oh, gosh. Stop it. Thank you. It's Caroline Bear. Sarah, you're looking great as we were complimenting. Wow. Can I speak oh English? God. It's really late it's at <laughs> night and we're both very tired. <laughs> but I was saying I really like Sarah's sweater. Anyways, you don't care about these you things. You can't see our whole outfits. Yep. You don't know what is below this. <laughs> it could be sweatpants. It probably is. Just kidding. So what were your what were your initial thoughts on this episode, Broadway Meets Broadway? Um, okay. So there's a lot. I think we both really like the cast. We really like the Batch Weekend mm -hmm. people. I'm going to be honest. This episode made me dislike a lot of them. Um, I was not vibing with how um, Robbie treated his uh, employees. Mm -hmm. I was not vibing mm -hmm. with how Liz was being so dramatic i felt for rosa mm -hmm. because it's really hard to manage people that a don't want to be managed and b um are kind of like on the same level as you or maybe they're the same age it's so difficult being basically the boss of somebody who's the same age mm -hmm. as you bec or even older than you because they True. resent you so much and i don't know the age ranges of all these people but um, I'd imagine they're around the same age. Oh, remember we said that Nicole was like 24? Yeah. So She's I, the only one we know, but I feel like the rest of them look around the same age. Yeah. So probably, you know. I think Liz was like 24 Rachel. too. Well, yeah, Rachel and Robbie are obviously yeah. older. But I don't know. I just like was – I'm really sorry, guys, but I was not – I was rooting for you and you did not – you, you did, did not, not show yeah, up. Yeah, you did not show up. No, I'm going to say that too. Like, that's what I was going to say with our first topic. Let's talk about, like, Robbie and obviously the thing that he did with, like, Liz and Nicole with the oh whole house thing. But I feel like the things that Robbie was saying, especially to Rosa, this was tr more towards the end, which we'll get to, but he was saying things that he really needed to just, like, pep talk to himself. Like, he was saying how she needed to look after everyone and she was the one that needed to make sure that they coordinated everything and got everything done. It's like, yeah maybe that is her position but it's like it's your you're the ceo you're the one that needs to i think he points i just really points noticed the finger, he, finger, yeah, yeah he points the finger instead of like kind of okay well he's also completely sorry to cut you no, off no, no, but no, he's no. responsible for the company's debt without a doubt i mean i'm he, sorry he completely is no it's true because i mean we'll talk about it but he didn't have to pay for half the stuff that he paid for especially in this episode even though like they messed up so yes but you should have like savings for a rainy day when stuff like that happens and i don't <laughs> feel like necessarily they need to do the bonus like they do so Precisely, frequently maybe like once a month you know i know they do not every single batch weekend you're you're just losing money and robbie specific specifically because Crazy. he said it's coming out of his own pocket mm -hmm. i'm like dude what what's up with that it makes so much sense and it clicked so much more this episode i don't know what it was but it totally totally did i honest i think it was just i was really disappointed with pretty much everyone mm -hmm. i didn't from the get-go i mean i know this aired last week so people might have have moved on and like are feeling good again but i still have my opinions yeah. and I know you have yours mm -hmm. um, what did you think about what Robbie did by not telling Liz and Nicole two hours after he got the phone call okay honestly I have been in a similar situation oh. where I was on the end of Liz and Nicole mm -hmm. and I don't understand if you're people operate their um technology like 
they're breathing. It's just, it's one Mm -hmm. and the same. If you're on your phone, if you're on your computer, how hard is it to get in touch with somebody and just let them know something? Uh, Such a minute detail that actually could really derail the planning Mm -hmm. could have been easily relayed to Nicole and Liz. And I don't, honest to God, understand how there was a two hour time frame. I'm very heated and emotional about this. <laughs> I would have reacted the same way that Nicole and Liz did. Um, so I was pretty livid yeah. that he didn't say anything. Like, th- not only does that look bad on you, because then, you know, Dion um, called, Dion called mm-hmm. Nicole, but it also just makes you look like an unorganized company. And that's not what you're trying to promote, obviously. Mm-hmm. I will say, though, Liz, you were at the hotel when you received this phone call. Why not just walk back in and cancel the reservation? I know. That was going to be my other thing when it came to Liz. In this moment also, I was like, Liz, girl, really? Like, I feel like she gets really heated really fast, which I'm all for. Like, love it. But it's also like Rosa (laughs) was trying to, like, just tame her. And I didn't know, first of all, that Rosa had all this power. I felt like... I got to experience, like, what her title actually was. I completely Good agree. Good for you. Like, yes. Props. I'm glad we well, saw it. Remember, Nicole said we're all being paid the same. And I was like, uh, if Rosa is handling all three of you, she probably needs a pay raise. Mm-hmm. But I've never got that vibe. I've no. always thought that Nicole, it, I mean, she's always the one presenting the mm-hmm. party. And she seems like she really takes the ropes mm-hmm. on a lot of the stuff. I don't know. I... I thought what Liz had to do, I mean, that obviously <laughs> fell on her shoulders. Mm-hmm. I don't know why she didn't call sooner. Well, what or didn't I was not under- let them know sooner. I don't understand the whole hotel situation because they said we have a 24 hour window policy and you fall within that. So that means you do have to pay. Normally, hotels have a 24 hour grace period. If you yeah. fall within that, you don't have to pay. But if you fall within it, you do have to pay. I wasn't really understanding. There was clearly miscommunication and poor planning. Yes. And I really think, I mean, Liz, if you're going to get down about Robbie not calling you and Nicole, I, girl. She didn't even call, call that the day hotel. to cancel. You she know called what I the mean? next day to cancel and she had to be reminded to call. She was like, oh, yeah, I probably should do that. It's like, and Rosa, yes. And Rosa, <laughs> I really, again, I resonate with her feel her struggle to say you know hey like Liz you need to dial it back Mm -hmm. um and she said please watch your tone and Liz was like all combative and said something along the lines of like well I don't appreciate you telling me to do this it's like well I wouldn't have to tell you if you just did it Mm -hmm. so I understand where Rose is coming from I know and I thought what Liz did was smart when she asked the hotel like if they could you know Oh, she knows how to handle a crisis, which is awesome. So I thought that was that was really good, and she like saved herself. So I was like, okay, props to you, Liz. But then the whole limo situation happened, where the limo driver, I don't know what happened. He totally forgot to show up. That was the one thing, one of the things that Sydney really wanted was limo service the whole time, and then he wasn't there. And then Liz, she got pissed yet again, but really heated. So the one thing I do, I sympathize because. You're not, she obviously called, she made the reservation. I would be livid. But also, why were you trying out this limo company for the first time? Like, I don't understand because Robbie and Liz kept saying throughout the episode, we're never using these people again. We're never using these people again. So was this their first experience? I would love to know. Um, I I don't know. It it all seemed very disorganized, discombobulated, Mm -hmm. and If you can, and I guess this is like throwing it to tonight's episode, but if you can plan a bachelorette party within 48 hours, can't you find another limo service in the city of Nashville to like help out with this bachelorette party? I I, I just didn't understand. But like piggybacking off of what you just said Mm -hmm. made me think, just the company that they are, wouldn't they have their like go-to limo service that they always use? That's what I'm saying. So So did they just, did this one just fail randomly? I don't know. Yeah. That's super weird. But anyway, the limo came. Liz yelled at them. The limo finally got there. She waved by. They had fun, I know. Girls. That was kind of a little fake. I felt like she was like over it and wanted them to just leave. 
So they all got to the place. The place was so cute. <laughs> you sound like Liz. She's like, this is so cute. <laughs> no, but I genuinely mean it. I thought the place that Dion found was really cute compared to all the other places that they were searching at at the beginning. Okay, but like, if you watch, if you pull back, if when the camera pulled back and showed you the exterior of the house, it literally looked just like a small They're, shack, yeah. like the other places. Inside looked really nice. Yes. Yeah. So that's when I'm, I, I mean, you never know what could have been on the inside of the other places. Mm-hmm. Even though I feel like this whole episode was kind of like a fail in a sense with like so I, many things that went wrong. I thought it was really cute with the barbecue truck, like the food truck that they had when they end. Thank you. Like that was a really nice touch. I thought they mm-hmm. nailed it. Mm-hmm. I uh, looked up that company. Mm-hmm. It's I think called Roadhouse Barbecue yeah. or Roadhouse Grill actually. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize, I, I thought I was seeing like some optical illusion when I was watching the episode, but it looks like this company has several different food trucks that are um, configured to look like different things. Oh, so cool. this, I think the one in this episode kind of looked like a little house, mm-hmm. like a little cottage. Um, so instead of your typical food truck, which is literally like imagine a FedEx truck and inside is a kitchen, it's built to look like something else so there's a lot of manufacturing behind it um and construction Mm -hmm. so I don't know I just thought that was so cool um and I loved that but that was like the only thing on the list that seemed to go really right right until the end of the yeah um, and the line dancing even though I feel like even the line dancing though they didn't have the shoes for the line dancing oh my gosh let's talk about that like who okay I need to know whose fault actually it was, was nicole's it was nicole's because it wasn't on the itinerary because yeah. in that moment i mm-hmm. got a little confused because I, I was like okay rose is there then when they went to the house and they came out and talked to them that was intense i thought they were gonna say like sydney was sick or oh, but she you know was it wasn't f- sydney who was the v- gluten-free bride it was her um maid of honor Haley. <gasps> really yeah oh. it was the maid of honor Haley. Why did you turn this into your show? No, I did you not like it. I did not like <laughs> Dion turning it into her show. I feel like she did too. She was very up she was front and center a lot. She was like making sure that everyone knew the moves when they were but, at the line dancing. Oh yes, good point, girl. But I also think that because she was the planner, she just had that like kind sure. of controlling aspect to her. So I maybe that's why she really wanted to make sure her friend I don't know, had a good bachelorette weekend. But yeah, that part was so intense. I literally thought they were going to be like, we're done. At first, I know. I was like, what is going on? And then that happened. Yep. Oh my goodness. But before we finish, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than most because we have to do our other one next. Oh, yeah. Other 20 <laughs> minutes. But we just want to say thank you to all you guys out there and have a little message for you. Oh, yeah. Hey, After Buzzers, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, we produce everything from dramas reality tv sci-fi and more there is no network that works harder to serve television fans so hit that subscribe button now for this channel and check out our other app for well after buzz youtube channels as well uh let us know you did so in the comments and we'll thank you on air for now thanks for being the best fans and for making us the espn of tv talk Yes, thank you guys so much. Subscribe, comment. We love hearing from you. And you can find us wherever there is a podcast. Oh, yes. The podcast, I feel like people forget about that. Podcast, listen in. You'll love it. I feel like, um, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. I was just going to say podcasts are really great. I think we've talked about this to listen in the car. Listen in the car, yeah. Just check it out. Listen, listen up. Do you know what was a creepy car that I felt like we witnessed? The fun bus. When that thing showed, first of all, where was Robbie running to? Like, does his house is was his house around the corner? Did yeah, anyone else? Like, we have like, this for uh, bachelorette weekends that have like a smaller budget, mm-hmm. and then we have it for bachelorette weekends who, well, things go wrong. Yeah. But yes, where was he running to? Like, just, like I know, I was like, <laughs> is his house around the corner? Is it just there? But also, I feel like if that was the fun bus, like. Ubers even make it fun inside with like lights and karaoke. I literally thought there was gonna be alcohol and lights. It it was a straight up like van. It was like if you were going on a school (laughs) vacation, like trip, you know. It was a 
van. It wasn't a bus. No. It was like not even one of those mini school buses, you know? No. There was no stripper pole in it. And it like, made me nothing. uncomfortable. It made me uncomfortable as well. And I just, it was like a black van. Mm-hmm. I just felt like something creepy was going on inside. Whatever. They had to make um, do with the situation that they had. I still think they could have called a limo service, like you said. Exactly. But I, that's uh, all right. Anyway, they went on to dinner, which was great. It was super cute. I thought the atmosphere, like, was mm-hmm. amazing. I didn't know, though. I thought, like, with this company, they paid for everything. Like, I didn't know that these girls paid for their dinners and stuff. So when Robbie was like, guys, the dinner's on me, which I was like, I was literally said this out loud to the TV. I was like, Robbie, this is not smart for your bank account. Oh, okay. But I, as it was imperative for no, him to do. for but, sure. But in that sense, no bonus for the week. Exactly. And he should have been able to explain that to his employees, but he didn't. And he waited until the I'm next episode. Like, Robbie, if you're in, you know, um, people say when you get drunk and you wake up with a hangover, no, this has actually never happened to me. I'm that annoying girl, but you <laughs> you keep drinking. Yeah. It's not the same concept. Like if you're in debt, keep spending, and then you're going to eventually get mm-hmm. out of that. It's it's not – there's no benefit to uh, not only being in debt f- with your own company, but then also making yourself, like your own individual funds, uh, depleted by just – throwing money everywhere well he's probably like hey (laughs) i'm already there so what's a few hundred more you know i guess man i I don't know the dinner was nice though the dinner Um, was really nice rosa put the extra like candles around and had them in like a unique little spot okay i would love to ask our fans did anyone notice that for the entire trip there were six girls and then when they got to the dinner there was only five girls there was an extra seating um uh, plate and I was like did one girl not want to be on camera did one girl go home and I literally rewind rewound yeah the episode, <laughs> rewound the episode um I hit the rewind button because I wanted to see if I was just imagining things mm-hmm. but I remember that um at the beginning of the episode Nicole said four out of six of the girls are actually on Broadway so mm-hmm. I was like okay there were six girls in total we only have five at this dinner I didn't notice I'm gonna have to go back I, that's I was what like, I, I where didn't is notice. this girl MIA and then even I think Rosa oh no I think it was either I think it was Liz who said to the bouncer at the honky tonk place they went after like we have sex girls coming there were not six girls at dinner, so I don't know what that situation was. Maybe she just didn't want to be on camera or something. But yeah, I don't know. I, but then I looked back at the pictures. There's only five girls. Um, like there, there was a picture um, that Robbie got in. Do you okay, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, the yeah. girls, she wasn't in it. I'm like, weird, weird, yep. weird. But to top off the night, <laughs> you have JJ coming in for the win with leaving his camera locked in his car you had one job you literally have literally one job. <laughs> and then you have nicole take in pictures on her iphone which probably turned out just as great <laughs> so let's be real have you noticed that bobby only care i mean not bobby wow where did bobby <laughs> come from that bobby bobby <laughs> honestly it's it's late jj only has one camera mm-hmm. and i just feel as though he'd have more like two yeah i don't know I, or even different lenses mm. oh, i don't yeah. know like he also has the flash on which i know you can take on and mm-hmm. off a camera and mm-hmm. i don't know I, I just thought the whole situation was weird and then he was like trying to open his door when he knew it was locked i mean maybe that's just for our own comedic relief totally. but i was like dude your car's locked you gotta call triple a um, and he said AAA was coming, but then they showed like 12.30 a.m. I know. It took them forever. Yeah. This was definitely a crazy weekend and one that I think they totally deserved the three stars that they got. But then they magically got the five stars for... I knew... No, go for it. I was going to... So when the episode started, you know, they do the like previously on. Yeah. And they said... They showed that episode where Robbie was like, if we get another four star, I am not, like, mm-hmm. we can only have five stars. So I knew something was going to go down. I would, if this had been my bachelorette weekend, I probably would have given them a four. Um, because, yeah, they obviously worked to 
better what had gone wrong but the point is something a lot of some things Mm -hmm. went wrong they didn't even have the spa day which they which i feel like is so easy for them to do i feel like they never hit that like when the girls want to do it missing and and we'll talk about this in the next episode but it seems like (laughs) the girls with no budget somehow have the best bachelorette party and i don't understand it no it's true though you're absolutely right i think it's funny though that i feel jj again thought he was going to win this bonus. Who? He we'll always, just, since we have to close up pretty soon, who did you think was going to get this bonus this episode? I, if wanted, anyone. I wanted him to be like, yo, it's going to Rachel. Cause it's <laughs> sh- but I guess like she obviously can't win it. So then I was like, mm, maybe Rosa. And I know. Rosa won. Rosa won. Yay! It was great. It was finally like I know. Liz I was and so Nicole have been the only her. winners. I was so excited for her. I think Liz was super bummed, but I'm not really sure why she was. There's a lot of angst, but that's the other thing, and we'll talk about this in the next episode, but they're all friends, and I mm-hmm. think that that can sometimes be to their deficit, actually. Even mm-hmm. though they they work well together, For sure, there was some cattiness going on, because it's funny, the episode started with the three girls drinking, and Liz being like, I'm taking them out since I won the bonus. Yeah, and then they got catty yeah, throughout exactly. this episode. I, was I like, agree. Right, I don't get it. And then I can't remember if it was this this first or second episode but Liz was like love you to Nicole I'm like are are you best friends are you enemies I know are you it's work li- friends you know the whole situation is a little hard convoluted for me to like wrap my head around mm-hmm. because I feel like it'd be a difficult situation to work in yeah so thank goodness we don't have to <laughs> Do you have, let's talk about the predictions even though we kind of already know for next week but we'll talk about predictions <laughs> I hate this sound now, so much. We say it every week. Oh, but I and like the now lights. we have. Oh, the, the, I love this studio because of shout this. out to our amazing engineer, mm, Julia. Girl. So Caroline, predictions. predictions, thoughts, what you want to see, all of it. I want to see them step their game up. Yeah. If you do this for a career and everything is falling apart, in my mind, that's a big L. Mm-hmm. Um. So. They need a big W for next week. That's all I really want to see. I completely agree with you. I just, I want to see maybe a little more disagreements with some of them. Because I feel like they oh, like you like it? I like <laughs> it because I feel like at first they were like nothing. Like, yeah, we bicker. Mm-hmm. We're like brother and sister. Nothing can really go wrong. But it's like, I feel like something needs to go wrong. Not like crazy. Not no, anything I- bad. But, you know, to show that they're a company. Dude, ha- so much went wrong in this episode. No, you want I it know. to happen again? No, I don't want that to happen again, but I want to see them kind of, this is going to sound bad, but I'll go with it, act their age and realize that this is like a job. Because I think, I don't know. That's a good point. It just comes across like they That's don't why- realize... It's like such it's a, a work flexible, good job that so many people would probably love to have those hours and like what they do and stuff. And it's just like, I don't think they realize that. We've said this every single week, but it still weirds us out that the girls and guys are partying with their clients. That makes no sense no. to me. It's different if you take them out for like a celebratory drink or something, but you are staying for the whole dang party. Why do every single member of the batch team need to be at each event? Yeah. I don't don't get it. And I was watching this with a friend and oh, really okay, she, fine. No, she, no, she was really confused as <laughs> to why that was happening. And I was like, thank you. It would get annoying if like I was the bride or you were the bride. I'd be like, why are you here? I, you know, I would be like, yo, you're cool, but I'm not trying to like make more friends. I have my girls. I have my man somewhere. Yeah. Like I don't need another additional posse yeah. you know well this was a crazy weekend for the broadway batches <laughs> oh my god <laughs> seriously we were so excited you guys tuned in if you would like to follow me throughout the rest of the week which i would love you to you can follow me at s serio again thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to follow me you can follow me at caroline j there thank you for watching and also good news we found out that Sydney Morton, the bride on this episode, is actually married. I think her Instagram is like Sydney Mo or something if you want to check out her pictures. Yeah. Go check it out. Thanks, guys. Bye. Have a good week.
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.